In the previous video, I showed you what is a gyroscope and we saw that it can do amazing things. It looks like it can defy gravity. But in this video, I will show you how it works. What is the physics behind a gyroscope? So before starting this video, you should be familiar with the Newton laws of motion and what is a torque, what is a force. So let me tell you some basic stuff that if there is a point particle of mass m, it obeys Newton's laws that F equal to m a the first, second and third laws are like automatically embedded in this formula. And also if we have extended objects, weird extended objects, we take a point in that object and call it the center of mass. And we say that the whole mass of that body is supposed to be concentrated at that point. And all the forces acting on the body are applied on that single point and with that we can make a free body diagram and analyze the motion of that body but the force is like if there is a force like this f if the force vector line crosses the center of mass of that body then that force will move that center of mass that means the body will translate but sometimes this happen that this is the body and the force is like this then the force vector is not crossing its center of mass so then what will happen is that the center of mass won't move and the body will rotate and this type of force is called a torque and torque is force into perpendicular distance from the center of mass or if there is a pivot point like this then the distance from that pivot point and if the body is like in space then the pivot point will automatically become the center of mass the interesting thing about torque is that it doesn't move a center of mass so the center of mass only moves when there is a net force but the center of mass will stay at its own point and the whole body can rotate when there is a net torque that means the net force on a body is zero the body won't move but the body can rotate about its center of mass if the net torque is not zero so this concept should be really clear this is everything basically you need to know to understand how a gyroscope work and also one thing that these are vector quantities add according to the laws of vector addition so this is enough now let us understand what will happen if we try to balance a thing like this on this point p this is the ground this is the uh, this is simply a type of top now let us say its center of mass is here now if the center of mass is directly above p directly above that means the force of gravity will be vertically downward exactly downward and the center of mass is exactly above this point then what will happen is that the top will balance itself and it won't fall but this is not possible because a little tinkering or anything will will make the center of mass to displace from p a little bit and the body will start falling the center of mass will be accelerated in the net force direction because this is a normal force provided by a ground to this and there will be a force about this direction a net force which will try to rotate this will be a torque type of thing like this is the pivot point and this is the force so there is a net torque which will rotate this top to fall now what if this top is rotating then what will happen and if we understand what will happen when the top is rotating then finally we will understand how our gyroscope works so for that let's do this here is our gyroscope balancing on my finger now we will study this its motion now imagine a a part of this disc like of mass m rotating right it's rotating now let us see it's here so here it is rotating 
now what will happen is this the center of mass won't be at this and uh, won't be directly above this the top will try to fall and this point or this point will start falling in that direction or whatever direction so let's say say this starts to fall in this direction now we know that the velocity is a vector quantity if there is a net force to this direction the mass will start accelerating to this direction there is no acceleration to this direction the acceleration was only then when i was rotating this axle with a thread so now there is no net acceleration to this direction there is a acceleration to this direction because there is a net force in this direction so this will start gaining velocity in this direction but there is a velocity already in that direction so what will happen there will be a net velocity in this direction because of the parallelogram law of vector addition now this particle will start going to this direction and our orbit will become like this so a force here tilts the orbit 90 degree ahead here so if you apply a force here you will get its result like you expected it to go like this way a 90 degree ahead like this particle transported the force here it looks like so if you watch the gyroscope carefully the gyroscope was precessing like this orbit was spinning spinning swing like this point was spinning around and going round and round this is because force was here orbit tilted here now the force was here orbit will tilt the back way now the force was there orbit will tilt here and so on the gyroscope will precess 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 so if there is a force downward it's transported here and if there is here it will transported here and the center of mass will also go like this like it will go here 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 and back here so that's why the gyroscope won't fall because it's kind of transporting the force which is acting on it now what if the gyroscope is on the thread like this this was the real thing when it was defying gravity so you can see that when it will try to like go down this particle will need to go that way and then we can see that the orbit will be tilted to this way like here that's why the gyroscope was spinning around the thread when and not falling down but we have friction and other things also and that's why the precession becomes slower and slower and slower and this point starts going down and down and down and when the gyroscope finally loses its energy it will come at a rest but if we didn't have a like friction or other things uh, to like get energy out of this system then it will precess for like infinity so the main thing to grasp about a gyroscope is that a force here will be transported here like a force here will make the orbit like this and a if orbit is like this it will be transported here and the gyroscope will precess 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 it will transport the energy to its different different points and won't fall so the gyroscope was not defying gravity it was just some vector addition laws which was giving result to this motion and it was looking like it's defying gravity so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything